When I heard Ohana was releasing a Star Wars-inspired beer, I dropped everything, including the Jedi I was choking, and headed there immediately. I left my helmet and cape at home, dressing casual to blend in with the locals. I was suspicious of the brewery's name, which means family. As you know, family has always been, well, a bit of a difficult topic for me. To my surprise, I felt right at home. The beers are incredible and they serve my favorite snack, goldfish. I also learned the masks are good for intimidating people, but bad for drinking beer. Dark Side of Sesame is an 8.6% imperial stout with black sesame and it's strong and black, just like my helmet, my boots, and my soul. I'm here with Andrew, the owner of Ohana. We're gonna ask him a little bit about his awesome spot. Andrew, how long have you guys been here? We've been here about five years now. We started in LA. We've been brewing for about six and a half. We don't have a taste room there, so we opened up in Alhambra where people could find us, have some uh, beers here. That's awesome. What are some of your most popular beers? Uh, right now we have Tiki on the Beach. It's a blonde ale. It has pineapple, cranberry, hibiscus, really fruity, uh, but it's not too sweet. Yesterday we released the Black Sesame Imperial Stout, Dark Side of the Sesame. Dark Side of the Sesame. The perfect beer for Revenge of the Fifth. Star Wars fans will definitely enjoy this awesome beer. Tell us a little bit about what inspired this particular beer. The base beer is sequel to the prequel. It already had somewhat of a Star Wars reference to that name. We were thinking about coffee, but like, well, how could we make it more, more local to like the San Gabriel Valley area? Uh, my girlfriend recommended uh, black sesame powder, so we started doing that. I let it sit for a little bit, and then you have like this really nice black sesame flavor to the beer. Still keeping kind of true to the uh, Star Wars reference there. <laughs> That's such a clever way to blend this diverse community with a really cool craft beer and, of course, Star Wars fandom. So I feel like I may already know the answer to this question, but light side or dark side? Uh, you know, dark side. <laughs> dark side? I know you guys enter your beers in a lot of competitions. Is there anything that you have right now on the current menu that you're planning to be using? We got the Great American Beer Festival coming up. 2017, we placed bronze for Spa Water Saison, which has been uh, one of the first popular beers that we've done. I think Spa Water, Tiki on the Beach, and then we're going to, uh, we have probably four entries. We're going to try to figure out what the other two are going to be. Well, that's very exciting. You guys are going to have to stay posted for this. You're going to have to come down from the 66. Check out Ohana Brewery. It's definitely worth it. I'm here with Brian, one of Andrew's biggest regulars here at Ohana. I practically live here. Tell us a little bit about how long you've been coming here. I've been coming here for five years, nonstop. And I mean, when people ask me, where can we find you, Brian? I'm like, at Ohana. My daughter's born. And uh, we just kept hanging in that corner over there. And you'll notice there's a sign that says Brew's Corner. And his mother was just so gracious. We didn't ask. And she's like, this is your daughter's corner. What's your favorite thing about Ohana? No matter what your flavor palette is, you can throw a rock and you'll find a beer you like. A lot of people are like, I don't like beers. I like sours, or I only like lights. Oh, I only like darks. I only like... No, I, I dare you to come into Ohana and not find a beer that you like. That's true. There's literally something for everyone here. Brian, where can we find you online? It's, it's also, I also have a YouTube show called Moderately Famous. We film here at Ohana on Tuesday nights. We invite people to come down, try some beers, participate in our show. We also talk about geek culture. It's always a good time. Well, cheers to that. Happy Revenge of the Fifth.